Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and many of you have been asking me, is it better to wirelessly charge your phone or will that damage your battery as compared to an iPad or iPhone charger? So I thought we'd put that to the test. So what I have here is a Rav Power fast charge device for the iPhone or whatever Qi charging device is on it. I also have an iPad charger. This is the 12 watt charger, if you can see there. And then I have the standard charger that's included in the box with iPhones. And then I have a heat gun that will measure what the temperature is on any surface. So if I shoot this onto my hand, you'll see my hand is 92.5 degrees. Currently, the screen on my iPhone is 82.5 degrees, mm -hmm. and the back is also 82.5. So what I'm going to do is set this on the charger for 15 minutes or so on this charger. We'll see what the temperature gets up to, let it cool back down, and then test these as well. Now, the idea behind this is Apple says that the phone shouldn't really be in environments over 95 degrees for extended periods of time or below a certain temperature as well. So if it's above that temperature for a long period of time, it would be worse if we were using wireless charger and it was 100 degrees versus this if it was 90. So we'll test that and let's get started using the wireless charger. Before we do that, I wanted to show you the output of this charger. It says 24 watt wall charger. It should be a quick charge charger. So this is what I use all of the time. Let me plug it in. This is plugged into the wall. It will have a light that lights up right here when it's active. And I have a timer ready to go on the iPhone 10. Now it's charging. We'll hit start and come back and see what the temperature is after it's charged for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, so we'll test the temperature now. And you'll see that the temperature is 90 degrees on the front and 100 degrees on the back. So that's pretty warm. We'll let it cool down for about 15 minutes. I'll make sure the temperature normalizes and then I'll test it on one of the plugs. It's been a little bit over 15 minutes. The phone's cooled off. As you can see here, we're back down to 78 degrees on the front. On the back, we're around 80 degrees. So we're cooled off. Let me go ahead and plug it in using the traditional charger that it comes with. So I'm just gonna use this cable, we'll plug it in, and I'll start it in just a moment at 15 minutes, and we'll see what the temperature is after that. The phone has been charging on the standard iPhone adapter for 15 minutes, just like the others. So let's take a look at the temperature. On the front, we're reading 83 degrees, so it's not very warm. On the back, 84 degrees. Just as we'd expect, the lower wattage is charging at a lower temperature. So let me let this cool down for another 15 minutes or so, and then I'll charge it on the 12 watt iPad charger. The phone is cooled down and I'm going to use this adapter now to see what it warms up to after 15 minutes. It's been charging for 15 minutes. Let's see what the temperature is. So on the front, we have 86 or 87 degrees. And on the back, we're at 88.5. So it's a little bit warmer with the iPad charger. Not as warm as it was with the charger from the actual wireless charging dock. And this one, it's a little bit warm. And normally, I'll leave it plugged in overnight. Now, keep in mind that when you're charging with any of these, after it reaches full or 100%, it cuts the power and it no longer stays warm because it's not charging any longer. So that's true of the wireless charger, these chargers as well. However, if you want your battery to be long-term reliable as far as sustaining multiple years, not just one or two years, you want to stick with this charger to charge it overnight. However, I use the wireless charger $30 is what it costs to replace a battery now, and it just depends on your, your view on that. But each one of these could be used. However, if you want it to stay as cool as possible, maintain that battery life over time, this is really the way to go. Uh, to my surprise, I didn't think wireless charging would be that much warmer. I'll leave a link to this wireless charger as well if you'd like to check it out. I use it all the time, and I think it's great, but uh, we'll see how it works as far as the battery goes over time. My battery has so far held up really well and we're at 100% of its peak performance. So that's what I'm using currently, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.